just by looking at that true shooting percentage, it's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's feeling it. So with Howie on the bench, this is who Eric Spolsky has on the floor. And Robinson on the wing, he's joined by Butler. Adebayo is the pivot with Tucker playing the four. And it's Oladipo in at the one. And for Philadelphia, outside the wings are Curry and Green. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. And it's Simmons in at the point. And finished off by Oladipo. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Adebayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. And Bam Adebayo, picked 14th in the 2017 draft, has made huge improvements throughout his career. Guy is a hard worker. And Coach Spolster says that Adebayo continues to put in the work to improve. And hey, Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Comes back each fall with a new wrinkle to his repertoire. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Here's Butler. Second shot opportunity, and that's two points on the layup. Right now, Jimmy is playing with no let-up, attacking and relentless. Here's Simmons, and it's Miami with the rebound. Outside, Robinson. Driving in. That shot misses. Simmons with the defensive effort. Pass to Harris. It's stolen by Oladipo. In transition, here comes Miami. Stops. Pops. Count it. Oladipo's got his second desk. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Here's Simmons. Oh, and the jam by Ben Simmons. You can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. His confidence just soars when he slams it down like that. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Cam. No good on the shot. And Philadelphia the other way now. This, of course, their first chance to play Miami this season. And on paper, you called them the better team, but they actually lost the season series against this group a year ago. Outside, Robinson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Unreal to think Duncan Robinson went undrafted. A key part to this team's offense. Well, there's credit to Duncan Robinson and him continuing to believe in his ability, which is otherworldly in shooting the basketball off the move. It's another to find systems that allow him to do that. So Duncan has made his way, and there are teams that have found a way to use him correctly to accentuate his otherworldly shooting ability. Now that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Butler finds Oladipo. And what? That one goes careening off the glass. An excellent defender. Whether Simmons is in the post or roaming the perimeter, he's a shot blocking threat. Looking at Philadelphia, they took the win in their last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Oladipo. It's sent back down by Simmons. There's the pass to Curry. Philadelphia moving the ball around. They get it again. Some solid defense from Robinson. Well, he leading by four. Got a piece of it. Adebayo passes to Robinson. Fires the three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Adebayo. Robinson's got five points so far. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And Simmons kicks to Green. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Simmons. Here's Embiid. Uses the glass to finish the layup. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Here's Oladipo. Moves back up. And the rejection by Embiid. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Now running up the court, Robinson pushing it up. Ben Simmons with the rebound. The 76ers trail by five. 
The drive by Green and the dunk by Embiid. And that interior presence of Embiid, guys that big shouldn't be able to move like that. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Adebayo gets to Oladie and stolen by Simmons. Harris finds Simmons. Back to Harris. From deep three-point range, and the 76ers get it back. And B, no good. And, and already, they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Robinson against Green. Now, here's Tucker. D right on him. Back to Oladipo. Clock is at three. Good. Victor coming much more sure-handed as a ball handler. Oladipo showing the moves there. And Simmons has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Trailing by five. Gotta keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. You can see it in that game. Despite the odds going against them, once it got to OT, they had that belief and resolve that they could win it. Well, once they could taste that upset, they weren't going to let this one slip away. Ferocious in that overtime period. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That is his first foul of the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Niang's checked in. Morris is checked in for Miami. Kyle Lowry comes in for Oladipo. And Embiid with the block. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be scored on. Simmons passes to Harris. He just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And Jimmy Butler, while he's a good shooter, not a great shooter, Brent, from beyond the arc. Well, he's good enough there, and we'll take, I, I guess, the right ones, Kevin, to keep pressure on because you want to take the open threes. But he knows his game so well, and he'll continue to attack He'll continue to find ways to expose defenses in the mid-range to make the impact on the game offensively that we're so accustomed to from Jimmy Buck. Driving the lane, and Simmons slams it in. Nice play by Simmons. So good at switching gears with the ball in his hand. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Dishes to Butler. And they double up up, and it's on a bio in the corner. It's sent back down by Simmons. And here we go. Fast break, three has got it. And the basket by Harris. Uh, working tirelessly on the stroke, Tobias Harris trying to find consistency with that shot. Here's Lowry, and he banks in the layup. The Heat lead by two. Philadelphia's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. So for the Heat, the last game a loss to the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Simmons against Lowry. Outside Robinson. Pass to Butler. Just five to shoot. Outside Lowry. The three. They get the rebound. Here's Morris. Lays it up off the glass. They are just killing them on the interior. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 40% here in the early stages. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Outside for Curry. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Heat with the lead. Adebayo passes to Lowry. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Curry. And that one is good. Curry 
Bowie's got his second bucket of the night. And for a big man, he sees the floor as well as any big. Recognizes when one of his guys has an opening for a shot. To the middle. And Adebayo throws it down. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Curry on the wing. Pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Just five on the clock. And Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got it all tied up now for the 76ers. A physical presence. Simmons is 6'11", nearly 250 pounds. He can easily absorb the hit. And the heat all time here. And at this point of the year, what's the main thing you think Brenna head coach has to do to keep his team focused for the second half of the season? Well, again, keeping guys in great physical shape. So a, a balance of playing in the games and getting minutes, but also getting on the practice court, which is interesting. After coming out of the pandemic season, Kevin, a lot of teams just didn't find any practice time. And this year, if you get back to the regular season schedule, there's ample time to be on the floor. How do you manage that practice time? And how do you manage to rest for guys, active rest on those days off to be ready for the game? And that one's good, Maxi. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside Lowry. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That's his first foul. Pass to Akpala. Here's Drews. Clock at four. Now the pass to Morris. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. On the wing, Milton. He had 13 points in the win against the Grizzlies in Memphis. The 76ers have gone two for two in the game at the line. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. The Heat making a switch here. Haslam's checked in. Both good from the line that time. 156 left here in the first quarter. Here's Cruz, defended by Milton. A shot off that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Maxi passes to Milton. And it's Haslam with the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Cruz. The three-pointer, no good. Well, the deep doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Nick Saban, defended by Milton. The offensive rebound, Nick Saban. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The 76ers leading by four. Back to Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. With a large frame and a willingness to get physical, Drummond's a relentless rebounder. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for the Heat. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Again, the miss by the Heat. Philadelphia's gone a meager 1-6 from three-point land since we got started tonight. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. Matisse Thibault checked in for Philadelphia. 
Dwayne Dedman's checked in for the Heat. The Heat trail by six. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Looking to end the run. And there's the nice lay-in by Lowry. Lowry's got his second bucket of the game to go. And just so crafty around the hoop. Lowry, probably six feet at best, but and he can slip inside and score with the best of them. Really heads up there. He played where you locate the best open pass, and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Here's Lowry, and he uses the glass on the lane. Lowry's got his third basket of the night right there. A whole nice drive by Lowry, cutting the defense to pieces and then getting himself open for a look. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. 76ers on top, leading by four. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And you talk to Jimmy Butler. His confidence in this Miami team, Greg? We got a team full of guys that can score, a team full of guys that can defend, can get everybody else involved. Um, it's a it's a nice team, man. We're playing well. You talk about scoring and defending and playmaking. Great, Jimmy Butler can do all three. Yeah, leading the way with his play, he's made a huge difference ever since he joined the team. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the 76ers. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Well, another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play really looking to go up tempo tonight. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. You've got Wayne Dead. Vincent is out there with Hansen. And it's Drews in at the two spot. Here's Drews. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Shot clock at three. Here's Dedman. And it's Reed pulling it down. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing's just a little bit off on that one. He gets that one. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. Struce passes to Dedman. Here's Struce. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Vincent. Knocked loose. A three ball. Kept alive. And Dedman throws it down. Dedman using his length that time on the offensive end. Now, here's Maxi. Not a lot of room. They get it back. And that one's good. Drummond. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Pass to Struce. To the paint. Here's Dedman. Here's Haslam. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Maxi. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with a team? Oof. That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning tends to be the most fun, so I'd have to probably say my UNLV team, but we had some great teams with the Knicks, and don't forget about my Blazers. They were also a really competitive team. And the 76ers making a change here. Joe's checked in, and Miami with a change here, too. Oladipo's checked in. Philadelphia leading by four. To the inside. Here's Truman. The layup missed. For Miami, they've gone two of five for the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Struz passes to Oladipo. And there's the call on Andre Truman. That's his first foul. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Udonis Hassel. And we're now a little...
little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Tipped away and stolen by Feibel. Passes it to Maxi. Down low. Here's Truman. Rebound by the Heat. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, the Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. Jimmy Butler says, we know what we're capable of. We want to get back to the Finals. We can be. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? What a great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. Danny Green, he's checked in for Drummond. Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. Pass to Joe. This one for three. That shot is off. Now the Heat take it the other way. And the foul called on Danny Green. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Vincent. Butler up top. Defended by Feibel. Five to shoot. Cut him. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Inside. Butler with the steal. Here's Deadman. And Deadman throws it down. Feels like Jimmy Butler is getting better on how he finds the open teammates, really elevating his playmaking skills. The pass to Joe. On the wing, Green. To the wing on the left. Joe can't get it to go. And really, hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. Taxi passes to Reed. Idle for three. And Oladipo pulls it down. And here are the Heat. They're on a 13 to 4 run. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal. Shooting at a 4 of 9 clip. And with Butler and his intensity, Greg, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way. But it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. And the 76ers with some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for Reed. Tobias Harris comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Ben Simmons in for Maxi. Then for the Heat, Ben Adebayo is checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Robinson is subbed in for Vincent. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Miami. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing to For some reason, they've also had guys in the right spots on the offensive glass. Lots of putbacks. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here. And you can see, not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Here's Simmons, takes it inside. Yeah, and when Simmons is driving inside, he's going to sky up for the flush, getting to the basket in no time. Oladipo, the pass to Butler. And Embiid with the block. Green finds Harris, outside for Simmons. Here's Joe. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Now just a two-point heat lead. At 6'11", with his passing skills, Simmons will always find the open man. And here is Butler. <laughs> Last down, we saw him pour in 22. No dice, nine feet out. Embiid against Butler. Are, are we sure that Bam's not wearing a watch out there? Perfect timing. Again, the miss by the Heat. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. And a wide open look for Simmons. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Simmons against Oldie. Not 
knocked away and stolen by Simmons at the top of the key and B. Harris inside the line. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. And that's now nine points for Tobias Harris. Simmons against Odie. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Greg, you're just talking about Oladipo. He holds a very high standard for himself. And he's trying to reach another level every year. Wants to keep growing, making everything more consistent. And it's possible we still haven't seen the best of him yet. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Team draft Victor Oladipo out of Indiana becomes the second overall pick and he broke out in his first season with the Pacers nice to see him come back from this injury and start to make an impact here's what Miami's going with right now Morris is checked in for PJ Tucker and Kyle Lowry subbed in for Duncan Robinson and Philadelphia calls time here here's Simmons eight points for him Over Morris. And that one hits back iron. They get a hand on it. Here's Embiid. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Isaiah Joe. The Heat shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And typically a strength of their 79% on the season. That free throw good from Butler. And you look at the size of Bam out of bio. Rare to see someone so big be so fluid with the ball. And, and how much GA does that ability unlock what this team can do offensively around Bam? The DHOs or dribbling up from the post to make plays or involving him at the top of the key to find backdoor cutters. That's a lot of extra action for teams not to be able to prepare for because of Bam's skill. Philadelphia is shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The free throw drops for Embiid. And what you love about Embiid, he gives you the offense, defense, rebounding, but he also plays with an edge. And he gives this team a certain confidence when they take the floor. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? He's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Odipo against Embiid. And it's Harris with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Aston Yang. Back to Harris. And Simmons kicks to Harris. 76ers with the new shot clock. MB, no good. Miami's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Oladipo outside. Back to Lowry. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Oladipo. Oladipo's got assist number five here tonight. The 76ers trail by four. The drive by Simmons. And then Simmons sends it in. Simmons. He's just so much fun to watch with the ball in his hand. Now Lowry. Eight points for him. Down low. Here's Oladipo. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Oladipo's got six points in the quarter. Philadelphia shooting for the game at 42%. Simmons passes to Harris. Here's Niang. From outside, off the mark. Miami leading by four. Shot from 12. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Beach got 11 rebounds in the game. And it's Harris off the drive. Harris with a head of steam, put his head down, and then put the ball down. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Six 
seconds on the shot clock. And it's Butler missing. The 76ers shooting 35% so far in the second. They need to move the ball around more and find better looks. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. Oladipo taking his time here. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. To the paint, here's Simmons. Oladipo with the block. Good timing from Victor there as he swipes that one away. Milton the pass to Embiid. Can't hit from in close. The Heat with the lead. Oladipo with the ball. He's got 12. Good saving. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And Simmons kicks to Milton. Simmons inside. He's against Morris. A shot. No good. A heat leading by four. Butler in the corner. Back to Oladipo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got four assists in the game. Some confidence from Victor Oladipo, and why not? He's got the green light in this offense. Simmons dishes to Embiid, and the dunk by Embiid. Great game for him. Double, double down. Ten points and 11 rebounds. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Have a look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. To the middle. Here's Butler. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. The first free throw is good. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Matisse Thibault comes in for Tobias Harris. Korkmaz checked in for Shake Milton. And Curry subbed in for Simmons. Jimmy Butler's just one of those guys that coaching staff and players admire just how competitive he is on a daily basis. And that's a little like a fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one at the line is good. Vincent's checked in for the Heat. He's perfect from the line this time. 24 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Korkmaz. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Markeith Morris. The 76ers have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Good on both. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Miami. It's a five-point game. They get to take on the Magic at Orlando after this one. That is game three of this four-game trip. And he finishes nicely on the lane. Lowry's got ten. You got to give it up for Lowry's toughness. He's got that scores mentality. Some contact won't stop him from converting. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. With one on the clock. No good that time. And a close game. Here's Simmons. 
our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. That seems all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So on the floor for Philadelphia. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. Outside the wings are Curry and Green. And it's Simmons in at the point. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Hey, guys, we've become accustomed to this. The Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Simmons against Oladipo. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. It's stolen by Harris. And Embiid with a clear path to the hoop. Here's Curry. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Curry's got eight points. And you have to be unselfish if you're going to lead your team to great things. And I think MB gets that. Oladipo misses. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. There's MB. And that one drops for him. He's got 14. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Top Oladipo, headed by Simmons. Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the base. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the Heat call time here. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Robinson against Curry. Will it go? And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Harris. No question. He got bumped on that shot. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Yeah, it's good to see him with this free throw percentage up over 80. The first one falls. Robinson hits them both. Now here's Simmons. Ten points for him. Is it to Green? And Oladipo pulls it down. Oladipo's got six rebounds here tonight. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Outside Butler, beyond the arc. I am no good on that time either. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts, but otherwise. The mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. That's to Autobahn. Back to Robinson. Five on the clock. Here's Butler. And again, it's the Heat missing. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. And it's Green missing. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Yeah, nice, silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. There's Green with the three, and the 76ers get it back. MB, the pass to Harris. It's over Tucker. Harris, no good. Miami trailing. Oladipo outside. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Robinson's got five points now in the quarter. Curry kicks to Simmons. Outside, Green. Again, the miss by Green. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls. Anything they can do to get him started. 
here's Autobio. No good on that one. Good D by B. And so Simmons will bring it up for Philadelphia. To the inside. And Embiid throws it down. He ties it up with that one. You know, he's such a smart scorer. He doesn't force anything. Let's the opportunities come to him. Odipo against Simmons. Down low. Here's Butler. And he makes good on the layup. Butler's got 12 points in the game. This is feeling a little bit too easy right now for Jimmy Butler out there. To the middle. Here's Embiid. And it's good. That bucket takes him to 9 for 14. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Butler against Green. And Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got his fourth rebound in this one. Curry passes it to Harris. Banked in off the glass. And that's 13 points for Tobias Harris. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. some stats here guys the scoring breakdown for the 76ers when they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game they've taken advantage another thing they've done well tonight is to share the basketball so many of their buckets have just been off crisp offensive sets setting up their shooters Reed is checked in for Philadelphia Maxie comes in for Danny Green and then for Miami Wayne Dedman comes in for Bam Adebayo and it's Kyle Lowry in for Victor Oladipo. Outside Butler. Back to Lowry. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. 12 points for him. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Here's Simmons, and he drives in, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And when Simmons is taking it strong to the cup, he's looking for a foul. Love this guy's aggressive. And the 76ers with some changes. Drummond comes in for Reed. And it's Jake Milton in for Seth Curry. Lowry with the ball. Picked up by Harris. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does. So the size paying off. Simmons passes to Drummond. Simmons trying to get open. And that one's good. Drummond. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Lowry, and it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxey. That's foul number two for him. Some changes for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibel checked in for Simmons. And it's Moss in for Tobias Harris. Here's Struess. He's got five. He dishes it to Lowry. Pocket six. And Deadman throws it down. Now we get used to this. Deadman on the receiving end of the alley oop. The 76ers leading by three. And here's Maxi. Ten points for him. The shot, no good. Outside Lowry. Good saving. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. And that's just smart basketball. Lowry reading the overcommitment and just whipping the ball to the open man. Bible, the pass to Drummond. Miami grabs the miss. Here's Struess. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. For the lead. Maxi grabs the miss. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Milton kicks to Cork Mons. Back to Milton. The 76ers with another miss. Miami's gone 1-4 in three-point shots here in the third. Driving inside. Spruce's shot is good. Spruce has got seven. 
this uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Yeah, easy call. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Heat. I like the work they've done at the free throw line all throughout this game. They've been the aggressors. Another thing they've done well tonight is to share the basketball. So many of their buckets have just been off crisp offensive sets, setting up their shooters. Markeith Morris has checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Heat shooting 43% for the game. Rick Saban defended by Drummond. Strews passes to Robinson. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the 76ers. Drummond's got rebound number five here tonight. And for old school sitters like Andre Drummond, the modern NBA posing some challenges. He's not quite the floor spacer. Well, he's not, but still on the defensive end, I think, GA, if you have a guy that's that kind of size and that kind of athleticism against certain teams that play another compact big, he becomes a guy to clog up the lane, block shots, and still be a deterrent on the inside. George Niang, he's checked in for Maxi. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for the Miami Heat, trailing by two. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Go into the rack with energy, and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, gotta chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's eye. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? First one falls for him. Free throws good for Milton. Heat shooting a troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. Outside Lowry. The pass to Struess. Right wing. Shot clock at five. Baseline jumper. And they force the shot clock by Great team. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Milton kicks to Thibel. Here's Court Mons, guarded by Robinson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And when he's got himself to the line this season, he's come through right around 74% of the time. That free throw good from Cork Moss. The Heat making a switch here. Edmonds checked in. And so he hits both. The Heat trail by four. It up for Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and 13 rebounds. Philadelphia's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. There's the drive. A shot by Milton, no good. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That's foul number two for him. Miami's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Now, here is Robinson. He's covered closely. The shot comes out. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Here's Nian. Here's Truman. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Deadman kicks to Lowry. Outside Robinson. Pass to Butler for the lead. Shot clock at six. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. 
Drummond's got six rebounds here tonight. Niang passes to Korkmaz. And there's the rebound by Dedman. Dedman's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Butler. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for Feibel, the pass to Niang. Back to Feibel. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Here's Trumman, and it comes off the front of the rim. Miami trailing. For the time, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, the last thing Jimmy Butler's afraid of is a little contact. And this is his third Jimmy trip to the line tonight. And the first one drops. drops. He ties it up. Philadelphia shooting 43% for the game. Hilton the pass to Drummond. Feibel finds Milton. Drummond trying to get himself free. Down he goes. Nice one there from Niang. Niang's got five points so far. Outside Butler. Side for Robinson. Oats it up for Butler. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Here's Courtmines. Offensive rebound. An active and alert defender. Drummond does everything he can to make opponents uncomfortable. A big time effort for Joel and B, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia. He made his mark in a big way on the board's. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. On the court for the Heat... Butler and Tucker up in the forward spots. Victor Oladipo is out there with Lowry, and it's Autobio in its set. Feibel for three. Bangs on the trifecta. Feibel's got the lead up to six now for Philadelphia. Kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession, and the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Passes it to Autobio. to Lowry. That's in coming off an assist from Adebayo. Adebayo's got four assists now tonight. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by the Heat. To the paint. Here's Oladipo. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, Oladipo has good size, one of the bigger guards in the league, weighing 210, and that strength helps out. Now, here's Feibel, defended by Butler. Curry can't get it to go. And it's Miami's ball, a two-point game. Oladipo, work wise, grabs the miss. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Inside, here's Nian. And the layup's good off the glass. You say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Oladipo outside. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Pass to Tucker. He kicks it to Oladipo. And there's the pass to Butler. Down to five on the shot clock. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Curry's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Niang. Fires for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. 
Oladipo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Left side, Lowry. Let's it go. Miami no good on that time either. Philadelphia leading by four. Embiid kicks to Theibel. No good on the three. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Here's Oladipo. Plays it up and makes it in. 19 points for Victor Oladipo. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Some changes for Philadelphia. Harris is checked in for George Nia. Green comes in for Matisse Thibel. And Simmons subbed in for Cork Miles. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thank you, David. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Butler against Embiid. Oladipo for three. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. It's stolen by Adebayo. Back to Lowry. The dish now to Butler. The shot will not fall. And Philadelphia the other way now. Green, the pass to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. Outside Butler. Lowry finds Butler. Green with the block. Uh, if you're going to make that offensive move, it's important to know where Danny Green is. One of the better shot-blocking guards you're going to find. And it's good for two. Lowry's got four points now in the quarter. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. And the wherewithal by Simmons, sensing the hit coming and adjusting his shot accordingly. And the Heat call time here. Joel and B with a strong contribution in this one. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. Oladipo outside. Butler feeling out of it. Looking to end its cold spell. And Embiid with the block. Oladipo against Curry. It's tipped on the wing. Green. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And now it's a 9.76ers lead. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Miami. Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got six rebounds in the game. Harris passes to Embiid. A three from Simmons. Curry on the wing. Now recovering. Curry shot is off. The Heat trail by nine. Passes to Lowry. And here's Tucker. Guarded by Embiid to the inside. It's Butler that time on the assist from Tucker. 16 points for Butler. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfect. Simmons dishes to Green. Now here is Harris. Tight defense on him. No one near Curry as he lets it go. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. 
There's Lowry. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Green, the pass to Harris. Back to Green. There's the triple. And the three ball is good. Green's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. Just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. Pass to Tucker. To the middle. Here's Oladipo. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Oladipo's got 21 in the game. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Harris outside. Kicks it to Simmons. Eyes a three. Takes a three. 76ers with the new shot clock. And you've got to admire the toughness that MB plays with. He doesn't let fouls stop him from scoring. Robinson's checked in for Kyle Lowry. Here's Oladipo. Outside Robinson. Back to Oladipo. Launches a three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. Well, he's been everywhere, and collecting those rebounds, that ends any kind of offensive possession and gets them started. And the pass to Harris. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, he's a capable shooter, but I like the initiative there from Tobias, taking it inside, forcing the defense back, and drawing contact. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. It's Oladipo on the wing. Back to Robinson. Down low. Here's Autobio. Miami no good on that time either. The 76ers leading by 13. Pass to Embiid. 76ers moving the ball around. Curry against Robinson. Curry kicks to Harris. Curry trying to break free. Harris's shot is off. Miami's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Passes it to Butler. Oladipo outside. Off target from three-point range. Philadelphia shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Simmons passes to Embiid, and it goes down two points. And that's now 27 points for Joel Embiid. Get on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Uh, Green, he is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for the Heat. The 76ers leading by 12, looking to get it going, and it's Curry playing it in. Hey. That's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. And the Heat call time here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and a big throwdown. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Butler goes in, misses the layup. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. 
Simmons dishes to Green. He kicks to Harris. Off target with his three. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Offensive rebound, MB. And at last, they get one to fall. And the man just brings his punch pail and goes to work. Well, what sets him be the part is he does it with such ease. Lowry's shot is good. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. Simmons passes to MB. It's good. And hey guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. A huge margin of victory for the 76ers. Their shot clock turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That they were disciplined and focused. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. And what a huge standout performance it was for Joel Embiid. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. 104 left here in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot. Over to the left wing. Front past the arc. Corkman's no good. And it's out of bio with the ball for Miami. Trailing by 17. Shots good by Butler. That is a tough two right there from Butler. Really his calling card. Rugged play and 100% effort. Pass to Niang. 